April is finished, so here are all the games I completed for Old School April. The very first game that I completed was a Guitar Hero Kick that I've been on. <laughs> I started it last month, then I finished it throughout April, and I did Guitar Hero Encore Rock of the 80s. This is a game version of Guitar Hero where it's nothing but classic 80s. The characters are wearing 80s outfits. Everything is retro inspired through a whole way through. I had a good time with this game. And again, if you are watching this video, you can play the game without a guitar. You don't have to have, you can play with a regular controller. It's just the trigger buttons are the buttons and I think one other, I think it's like circle or square is the other one. So definitely play this game. You can play it. You don't have to buy the guitar. And I had a good time. I played as the pink character again. So if you know who that is, you are awesome. The next one is a arcade shooter. I played this at Midwest. Uh, this is where the free play section was and I had a good time with it. It's a dolphin with a kid and basically the kid is shooting all the way through and there's enemies and it's kind of like army style with a little bit of, you know, like water. So if you ever see this in the arcades, definitely play it. It's a fun game. I had a good time with it. I did not in any time get frustrated. I mean, there was moments where they like do the warning sign and you're like, oh, here comes an incoming boss. But that wasn't difficult. You just learned the patterns and you were good to go. I also played another arcade game. This one is a beat-em-up. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up, but it had a little bit of a twist and it's Demolish, Demolish Fist. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Please let me know in the comments below if I'm not. I saw this game and I was like, what is this game? And basically it's your character or a group of characters and you're trying to defeat creatures that are weirdly reminding me of Resident Evil, Silent Hill. There was a bunch of inspirations from different classic stuff. So I saw this and I was like, who made this game? Because when I saw the game, I was like, this is so classic. Like it's a 90s, early 2000s inspired retro, all of it. There's the outfits, the hair, and I loved it. It was a great game. Uh, somebody joined me about midway through the game. They started recording me and I was like, oh, do you want to play? And I was like, I don't mind. If you ever see me playing an arcade game, I don't mind if you join me. Like, if you see me midway through, join the game. But it was a fun time. But it, the one thing is just don't leave the game because then the game gets harder and I have to like restart. So keep playing all the way through with me, please. And this person did. I had a fun time with it. It took a little bit of time. Um, it was one of the longer beat-em-up games because the end guy was super difficult. So if you do find it, it's about an hour, hour and a, a couple minutes. So try it out. Very, very fun. The next game I played at Up Down Arcade and that was with Freak of Four and we played Die Hard Arcade. This was such a hilarious game. You're basically the characters from the Die Hard franchise and you're trying to get through and it's multiple movies. I, I did notice that. So it's not just the first movie, not just the second movie. It's like multiple movies. You'll see scenes. You're like, oh, that's the character from this movie. And then you play it all the way through. And it's kind of got like, it's a beat em up game meets a shooter. So basically it's a beat em up, but you can pick up peripherals and different things and like you can find like a mop and you can hit people with it and it's hilarious there's scenes in there and I was like I could see why the game beaters like this game because <laughs> I remember Dan was like they like this game and I was like why and then all of a sudden I'm like nah there's a scene that's hilarious if you get through the game play it and you'll see the scene and you're like that's why that's why they're they like this game but I had a fun time with it it's a very awesome beat em up slash shooter game you should definitely try it out. If you have not played this game, it's worth your time. Find it in the arcades. Then I finished off my Guitar Hero kick with Guitar Hero 2. This is another game that is just like the other Guitar Hero games. You play as one of the band members and you're the lead guitarist. And I played as the pink haired girl again. I had a good time with this. This is another game that you don't need the guitar. You can play it with a controller. Even the first one, you could do that. But I had a good time with it. I love the song selection for this one. I remember playing this one and the third one way more than any of the other ones. But I had a good time going through all the Guitar Heroes. Definitely a good nostalgia trip. And if you're not playing these games, try out at least one. They will be worth your time. Then I played a PS1 classic. I streamed this as well. And that is Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. 
this is the game that I really enjoyed when I was playing it throughout because they have a lot of levels that are fun. They have airplane levels, they have motorcycle levels. The motorcycle levels are what really always trip me up. They take forever for me to complete because they are not easy. They are the one of the ones that I have to keep trying again multiple times to get it. And the driving mechanic is weird. It's like a little bit wonky on purpose to make it difficult for you. If you slide, you get a little bit head start. You have to get through all the little speed boosts. But once you get it, you understand it. It's great. It's a fun game. I recommend this one. This one and the second one are a lot easier than the first one. So definitely try it out. If you have not, it's worth your time. Crash Bandicoot's classic. I will play it forever. Then I played a game on Taito Legends. And this is called the ninja kids it's an arcade game that i really never saw i know it's probably only released in japan and basically it's a beat em up um you are a group of kids who have to stop which look like zombie creatures which was awesome um the creatures are wild and the gameplay is standard for a beat em up you have a weapon and a power up and if you use your power up it's like wind water fire it's just like the elements of the earth and the, the bosses were fun. I had a good time with them. They were a lot of good patterns. And there were some weird creatures that if you ever see in the wild, you're going to be like, uh, am I on a trip? Am I, did I take something? This is a fun game. Definitely try it out if you have not. Worth your time. A fun time. The next game that I played was also on Taito Legends. This was another game that I streamed. And it's called Jungle Hunt. Um, I remember seeing this on a couple of people's lists because it's on the Atari. It's a port of the Atari and I didn't know that this was on this collection. Basically, it's a game where you are a man who's going through the jungle trying to get to your lady love at the very end. You'll swing through the branches and vines and then you'll go through a section where you have to swim and it's alligators. And then you'll go through the section where you have to hop over the people that are capturing your lady love and save her. And it's very difficult. It seems like a simplistic game, but it's a game that you can finish on the Atari. Because I saw back in the day Gamer beat this. And I saw a couple other people play it, but it's very fun. If you find it on the Atari or this collection or in the arcade, definitely try it out. It's a good time. It's one of those games where you only have like, I think like four times before you are knocked out and you have to start over again. I really enjoy this game. I will be happy to say this is on the finished list. And if I ever see it on the Atari or if I find it again, I will pick it up because I have this in my collection now as a game that I finished. The next game is an arcade game that I played at Level Up Expo. There was a bunch of arcade games that I wanted to try out like Jackie Chan's fighting game. And they also had uh, the Street Fighter movie fighter game. And those both were not working 100% correctly for me. So I just kind of moved on. And then I saw this game. And I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly. It's Tamori, Taneki Mori something shooter. And basically it's kind of like Mortal Kombat's Tears Tower system. Where you battle and you work your way up the tower. Same thing, you can get either a game that is a shooter or a game that is something with math or whatever. And you have these little monkeys that are cheering you on and when you make it, it'll say success. I looked it up in the English version, the translation version, it says success or failure. And so I just kept playing this arcade game that was a shooter and it was like a war inspired game, kind of like 1942, um, it kind of reminded me of that. That was my favorite shooter. Basically, you had to get like so many planes knocked down and to move up to the next level. And it was like 140 or something like that. And then it was like 160, 180, it kept going up to 200 and something. So if you find this game, this arcade game, it's just a hilarious shooter game. Definitely a fun time. I had a good time with this. And amazingly, I beat it. Like I'm not great at shooters. So this is one of the few games that I'm like, wow, this is going to go on the list of like, okay, this is a... Uh, an amazing one that I surprised myself with. And the last game that I completed in the month was a game that's an arcade shooter, kind of like Time Crisis, and that's Gunblade New York. This is a game that is a classic. You have two huge machines that are like, that vibrate and basically just like keep your arm from like fully getting the shot down. And I enjoyed it. It's a good time. It's definitely worth your time. If you do have the game, try it out. If you don't find it in an arcade, it's a fun time. 
the arcade classics of like basically I think they're like all of them have like a, the, the time crisis style where the enemies are shooting at you they're shooting missiles and different things at you and your whole mission is to just complete each area in a timely fashion if you run out of time you have to start over again and I think there was like four areas because even though they say there's three areas when you start it's four technically because you have to finish off the last area in a certain time I had a good time with this game worth your time it's classic New York you're gonna enjoy the fun and it was really really fast-paced so if you're not into fast-paced games this will be definitely a game you'll probably finish in 30 minutes 45 minutes if you have a second player and there you have it everybody I completed another 10 games for the month and my total now is at 37 let me know how was your April did you have any games that were different or you unusual and you want to have other people check it out remember you are awesome thank you for being an amazing community if you're about to roll out hit the like button helps out the channel if you're new consider subscribing it is a good way to help out the channel as well and i'll catch you next time bye everybody linda the gamer gal she's here she's playing games linda the gamer gal she's here she's playing games.